I am often asked, should I avoid my triggers? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Welcome back and first off, if you're new here and you want to learn about emotional health, recovering and healing from trauma, things like addiction and all things to do with the mental health conversation, then please make sure that you've subscribed and turned on the notifications so you know each and every time I post a video. So today, I'm, I, I've been asked a lot quite recently actually, if when we're triggered, we should find ways to make sure that we avoid those emotional triggers. So I just wanna quickly break this down in uh, what hopefully will be a relatively short video today. Firstly, what I wanna stress is that when we're in a triggered state, we know that there's consequences and we know that that has implications on ourselves as well as the people around us, right? So I think what's important is that we have compassion for ourselves and we do what's right in the moment. If we're at the beginning of our healing journey, it may be that we do need to do a lot more of avoiding our triggers in order to not spend our whole time in this triggered state, okay? So it's really important to understand that what I'm gonna say about about why we maybe should start looking at our triggers does have a lot to do with where we're on our, at on our journey. So let's firstly start at that place of compassion and we do what's right for us in the moment. As we start to progress through that healing journey and learn more about ourselves, I do think there's a there's needs to become time when we're ready to start to try and explore these triggers and furthermore ask why they're coming up. So what is a trigger? When we talk about a trigger, we're talking about being in the moment and something, be it a, a uh, seeing something, hearing something, smelling something, touching something, having some kind of experience that sends our body into some kind of triggered state, which normally feels like some kind of overwhelm. We often have reactions to our triggered state. So when I'm in a triggered state, I often pump my chest out and get a little bit ranty. That's a reaction to the internal feeling and the internal feeling is much more of the body rushing around and is closer to overwhelm and anxiety. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about triggers, right? So when we feel in that state, we have to question ourselves, where does this come from? Why is this happening? Now, I believe that triggered state is to do with the fact that what we're experiencing in the moment has triggered a response from in the past. Now, that will nearly always, or at least often, revert back to our childhood. If we can start to lean into that trigger and trace where that is, that's when we can then start to override it. So let me give you one example of what I'm talking about here. We may feel like we want to avoid confrontation. So confrontation of any kind triggers us. It sends us into that state that makes us feel uncomfortable, right? If we're able to trace where that um, fear of conflict, why conflict or the fear of conflict triggers us in that way, we then may be able to move into that phase of then being able to control ourselves rather than trigger controlling us. And that's not about saying it will go away, but it's about working through it in that moment. So when I reach that state and my body starts to go into overwhelm and, and feeling anxious, I now recognize that that fear of confrontation comes from wanting to avoid it when I was a child because it frightened me and I was so sensitive to it. So now my brain triggers that response whenever confrontation's on the way and I start to panic. If I can catch it and say, okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling anxious and I'm feeling overwhelmed here. Where's that coming from? Okay, it's coming because I'm about to enter some kind of confrontation or confrontation that has arisen. I can almost start to say to myself, it's okay, I'm no longer a helpless child. I am now presently an adult and I don't need this response anymore and I'm going to look to override it. That's the simplistic way of explaining it when it plays out in our lives, I fully understand that it's not quite as simple as that, but that's our starting point for leaning into our triggers and starting to grow from them, rather than creating a world where we're walking on eggshells, trying to avoid all the things that trigger us, we're learning about them and we're taking charge of our emotional responses and being able to um, uh, work through 
those issues much better in the current situation so to summarize one remember that when we're triggered if we do feel overwhelmed and we need to run away then that's what we do in that moment but our long-term goal is to get to understand them and start to override them we cannot change the ways we feel but we can change the ways that we react to how we feel and that's what we're working towards with compassion and always forgiving ourselves when we do fall short of, of the end goal it's a lifetime journey we're looking for progression along that journey not to become the best in the moment i hope this has been useful if it has please make sure that you've liked the video and i'll see you again soon